The untold story of the state of our nation is the one of the legacy of the ANC's broken promises. Witibi Maswangani from Masodi village in Mukopani is one of many learners who still have to walk long distances to school because the scholar transport system in Limpopo is dysfunctional. Now, Mam Kwila from Upper Kwili village, 40 kilometers outside of Umtata, is still one of many South Africans in rural areas without electricity to this day. Sbusisom Chembu from Cliptown is one of 3.1 million young people who are not in employment, in training, or in education. Each of these testimonies represent a broken promise by the ANC. Their aspirations for dignity have been crushed by the ANC's failure to fulfill its promises. In 1994, you were sent to serve the people of South Africa promising a better life for all, and you broke that promise. In 2014, you were sent to serve promising that together we move South Africa forward, and you broke that promise. There is no doubt that next year you will come again promising another promise that you will break because it is in your habit to do so and you will recycle the same old leaders from the past who will continue to fail in government. One such leader is Minister Nomvula Mukonyani, who presided over the momentous collapse and bankruptcy of the Department of Water and Sanitation. Minister Mukonyani, how do you honestly sleep at night knowing that communities in Shivulana village, in Shawela village in Guiani have to wash their laundry at rivers fighting off animals because the Guiani water project, which was supposed to provide water in their villages, was mismanaged under your watch. How do you honestly enjoy the luxury of services in a ministerial home when mothers in Guiani go for days without taking a bath because, because there is no clean water because you failed in the Guiani water project? It is, it is ironic that people like you are now frontline cheerleaders chanting Tumamina, masquerading as disciples of some new dawn, when under your watch you allowed your own comrades to steal from the poor. For you and your crowd, Tumamina is nothing but an opportunistic clarion call to complete unfinished Point business of, of stealing from the poor. Point Honorable of order. Malazi, what's your order, Honorable Member? Madam Speaker, in terms of uh, Rule 85, the Honourable Member knows exactly that he's not supposed to cast aspersions on the Minister unless if he submit a substantive statement when you want to talk about ethical or unethical conduct of a Minister or a Deputy Minister. Thanks. Thank you very much. I think Chief. that uh, motion, uh, that uh, point of order is sustained. Honourable Malazi. Chairperson, may I address you? Is that your point of order? Yes. yes? A chairperson I've ruled under, already on this one. Under, it's under state, Rule yeah. 63, okay. the Honourable Member was, uh, was uh, implementing, uh, exercising freedom of speech. It is a political debate. And if you look at the Auditor General's report, it clearly shows that the department was maladministered, there was under maladministration. Honourable Member. Money went missing. Thank you. And many projects overran their budget. And this is what the Honourable Member is highlighting. Honourable Member, you are talking about the department. He is, talk, she is, he is talking directly to the former minister. Uh, with and that chair, is wrong. And I've minister, ruled on that matter. Please take your seat. The Honourable Minister was the minister. Please take of your Lord seat. You cannot the attack the member without a substantive motion. You know that very well. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Malazi, continue. Thanks, House Chairperson. Next year's election will present a choice between a failing ANC with failing leaders who still believe in failed ideas against the DS offer of building one South Africa for all. It will be a choice between the ANC's long record of broken promises versus the DA's record of delivery in government. Because where the ANC shields comrades in government from accountability, the DA takes action regardless of their popularity or seniority. <laughs> Honorable members, our country needs change, no matter how loud you shout. We need change that will make the lives of people like Budiwi, Noma, and Sbusi so, so that they can realize their dreams. We need change that will make sure that our communities are safe. We need change that will protect the rights of all South Africans and foreign nationals alike. 
We need change that will speed the provision of basic services. And we need change that will create fair access to jobs, regardless of the parts that they belong in. No matter how much you howl, Minister, that change will also mean that you will move to that other side. And it is only the DA that can deliver that change. Thank you.